Only the coldest winters gave rise to the Crystal Sea, a floating field dotted with countless icebergs. Normally an inland sea, the bitter cold made it a frozen wasteland, impassable by ships. At these times, nature itself protected the imperial capital, snow on the land and icebergs in the water. However, this winter brought an unusual sight, three Federation battleships charging through that frigid expanse. Snow cruisers. These were the Federation's secret weapons, built to pass the impassable and tame the Crystal Sea. If those snow cruisers hadn't shown up when they did, the entire Ranger Corps would have died on that coast. As it stood, we'd already lost over half our troops by the time they arrived. After boarding, we reorganized the survivors. Each company went to a different ship. Squad E's company was assigned to the Operation's number two vessel, the Centurion. We're finally in a place where we can leave the cold, the hunger, and the marching behind. It's almost too good to be true. Straight out of hell, and into something like heaven. But, it's not a heaven that comes with a sky. Riley. How's Minerva holding up? She won't touch her food. It seemed to take all her effort just to respond to me. I see. Well, I can't blame her. She's one of the few survivors of Squad F. And they... They might not have died if... If Squad E had been quicker. But if Minerva stays like this... Yeah. Time heals all wounds. But we don't have that luxury. Ah! Damn it, there goes my soup! Are you okay? That was a big one. Ugh, I've had enough of this crap. I can't keep my appetite with all this damn shaking. And the boat creaks, I can't even sleep. <laughs> Oh, Princess. Can't get his beauty rest going over a little ice reef. You army boys are all the same. Oh, yeah? Well, we ain't a bunch of chumps on a boat, that's for sure. <laughs> and whose boat do you think you're on? Oh, we can help you get some sleep hot shot. No more scary ice. You might not even wake up. Oh, you think you're hot shit? Fine, come get it! <laughs> Coming in with a big wind-up like that? I'll show you how to throw a friggin' punch! Shouldn't we stop them? They can let off some steam. Idiots of the land versus idiots of the sea. Ah! <clears throat> Come on! Hey, Kai. Isn't this getting a little out of hand? Uh, that's the thing about idiots. They never learn unless you make them learn. What the hell? Hey, Riley! You can't just grenade us! Holy! Retreat! Retreat! Whoa! Riley, was that alive? Custom grenade, full of chili powder, pepper, and powdered mustard. Let's go, Kai. We can have some tea on the deck, where it's quieter. Ah! Oh, my eyes! My eyes! <coughs> this has to be some kind of war 
war crime! Where did she get this? Water! I need water! Claude's probably the only one who can stop this. Welcome to the Centuria. I'm the captain, Roland Morgan. This is Marie, the radio officer, and Luth, the radar operator. We help coordinate maneuvers between the ship and ground forces. It's nice to meet you, Claude. Luth, aren't you going to give Claude a proper greeting? What, waste my breath on that moron? I've got better things to do. <sighs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind her. Luf's always like that. She's the best at what she does, though, so don't worry about her ability. I, I see. <laughs> These young ground pounders are always so high strung. And you are? Brian Haddock, Lieutenant Junior Grade. I'm the navigator. Lieutenant Haddock, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Just Brian is fine. You do outrank me, after all. Huh? No, I'm a lieutenant too. Not anymore, Claude. From this day forward, you're promoted to the rank of captain. Uh, I'd like to put you in command of this ship's guard convoy. Commanding the guard convoy? But Minerva Victor should have seniority over me. We've already offered the post to Lieutenant Victor. She refused outright, and recommended you in her place. She did? I'd been considering you for the position myself, after reviewing your record. With your judgment, adaptability, and the trust of your soldiers, you make a fine candidate. Will you accept this duty, Captain Wallace? Yes, sir! Oh, marvelous! Well, without any further ado, I'd like to explain your first mission as captain. Our three snow cruisers are currently heading north, across the Crystal Sea. Our new aim is a raid on Schwarzgrad, the Imperial capital. The operation's known by the codename Cygnus. It was a contingency plan for Operation Northern Cross, devised in secret, you understand. But with Operation Northern Cross set back so far, Command is using it as a grand diversion instead. And so, we of the Cygnus fleet have inherited the duty of invading the capital. The Crystal Sea is a natural barrier. The Empire would never expect an attack from this side. Even if they did, the ice can't support ships, much less infantry and tanks. They can't intercept or pursue. This new weapon, the Snow Cruiser, is going to let us ride right into the seat of the Empire. That is our duty. Attacking the capital from the Crystal Sea? I don't think anyone would see that coming. You command an entire guard convoy now, Mr. Wallace. I'll be expecting great Give it all I have, sir. <laughs> Good to hear. Then let's get to work. Your first duty as captain is to appoint a leader. What do you mean? With your promotion, You'll be carrying quite a bit more responsibility than you've had so far. You will also have more members in Squad E now. You'll need to open your mind to new strategies. You're already delegating a bit to Lieutenant Miller and Sergeant Raz, but I'd like you to appoint a new squad mate to leadership to help bring Squad E to its full potential. I'm sure this will be a boon to you in the battles to come. Thank you, sir. Ah, 
Give it some thought. I'm confident your choice will be the right one. Someone who's fit to be a leader. Who should I choose? Minerva. <laughs> I accepted the position. I'll be commanding the guard convoy. But why did you recommend me? Was the title not enough? Now you want to hear me admit defeat in my own words? No. It's just... I, I know you still haven't forgiven me. And I never will. You killed Crystal, and you destroyed Squad F. I'll never forgive you, and I won't let you forget! Nevertheless, Crystal fought with her head held high until the very end. She died fighting for what she believed in. Even when it all looked hopeless, she did everything she could to protect me. So I will avenge her death. I'll defeat the Empire and fulfill her wish. Then why didn't you accept the... Because you're the better candidate, damn you! Squad F is gone. The only able member left from Squad D is their commander. After the reorganization, Squad E is the only one with any real firepower left. It's elementary. The only one who's fit to be commander is the one with the squad left to command. Minerva... Claude, I am prepared to do whatever it takes. I'll cast everything aside. If it means I can avenge them. If it means we can win. Staying locked in a petty contest of pride is only going to hold us back. Command me as you see fit, Claude. Bring us the victory you promised our allies. Our friends die fighting the Empire. Now it's our duty to avenge them. Yeah. I know. I'll be watching you, Claude. I will judge your determination and your strength of will. If you ever disgrace the memory of the soldiers who died to get you here, then I will personally send you to answer to them. <sighs> Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Minerva Victor reporting. My comrades paid the ultimate price, and I will carry on their legacy. My name is Ronald Ulvi, and I fight with the pride of Squad F in my heart. I have an important announcement to make. As part of the reorganization of the Ranger Corps, Squad F will be merged into Squad E. Your attention, please. As you know, Squad F was dealt a crushing blow in the last battle. The Empire's attack was too much for us. We lost almost everyone. 
but the spirit of Squad F still burns bright in our hearts. We will rise again, fight for our fallen brethren, and overcome the Imperial Army! Minerva, Squad E is here to help you carry those burdens. Crystal's sacrifice and everyone else's. We vow to them and to you that we will see this through. Just so. We are bound by a single objective. Defeat the Empire and end the war. Henceforth, Squad F is under Captain Wallace's command. We shall push forward together with Squad E. Let us fight as one! In addition to two new squad mates, we're also adding their tank to our numbers. Miles, Dan, this is Squad F's driver. Lieutenant Ronald Albee. It's nice to meet you. Don't worry about formalities with me. We can just take it easy. <clears throat> with these new additions, our duties will be more demanding than ever. It's only gonna get tougher from here on out. We'll have to work together and fight as a team. I'm counting on all of you. Crystal, I will offend you. Always throw them out onto the Crystal Sea and let them have a snowball fight. It's actually not a bad idea, but... We must have an awful lot of pent-up energy. A snowball fight wouldn't be nearly enough. Minerva! And Claude! Minerva, are you, um... okay? I wasn't wounded. I'm ready to move out any time. That's enough! The Federation staking it all on a new plan, Operation Cygnus. And we need to make sure it succeeds. We don't have time to be fighting over petty differences. Operation Cygnus? The hell is that? <laughs> Wait, you guys came aboard without even knowing that? Raz, everyone, listen to me. This ship is heading north across the Crystal Sea, towards the Imperial capital. This op is our new focus as part of the Ranger Corps. Wait, Claude, is this ship really going to the capital? Yeah. So we can roll on over the imps just by riding this thing? That's almost too easy. You squids and the crew better make sure I get there. I'm gonna be a hero, you know. You? The kid complaining he can't get his nap time? You're not even gonna last to the capital. What'd you say? Raz, cut it out! I think we might need some joint training between the Army and the Navy. For the sake of teamwork. Hmm? I'm sorry it took so long, but it's time to hand out your cold weather equipment. Winter gear. You mean we won't have to warm our hands on the tank's exhaust pipe? Or wear a week's worth of socks at once? You had to go that far? I heard you had a rough time, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Well, now you'll have a thick coat, leather gloves, wool innerwear, and sheepskin boots. Don't worry. <laughs> no more shivering out in the cold. Oh, hell yeah! Okay. Let's all get changed. Riley and Kaisha are taking a while. Man, why do women always take so long to get dressed? It's not like how they wear it's gonna make a difference. Oh, really? You think you've seen it all, huh? Winter edition. Uh, damn. Hey, what kind of reaction is that? Tell me what you think. Oh, I I like it. It looks great on you. <laughs> I know, right? I 
customized it a bit so the hem would look cuter. That's why it took so long, huh? Actually, that one's on me. Mm. Wow, yours looks really nice too. Huh? Wait a sec. Your cloak's the only thing different. Are you gonna be okay? That looks kind of cold. Didn't fit me. Oh, that's right. Since you're registered as a man. I'm sure we could get Marie to find you a woman's uniform. No, I'll deal with it. Thicker clothes would only slow me down anyway. It's actually pretty warm if I just wrap up like this. Uh... <laughs> what do you think, Ras? <laughs> Whatever. Don't blame me if you catch a cold. Well, if you're invincible, you obviously don't need yours. I'll just take them off you. I... well... I... Look, just be careful, all right? Okay, let's see. The fresh recruits could give our squad a new edge. Might be good to get them on the field. Facilities on ships? We should be able to upgrade our tank parts and squad mates' equipment here, same as back on the base. Whenever you want to research new weapons, you know where I'll be. Wow! 
become master. teach you table manners. Forks and knives are not musical instruments. Quit making a racket at mealtime. Hey you, eat your vegetables. No picky eaters in this crew. And drink responsibly. A hungover soldier is a dead soldier. Oh, this ship's galley is truly a godsend. A place for everyone to enjoy a relaxing meal and unwind between missions. Uh, uh. Hmm? What's eating you, Sergeant? I told you to chew before you swallow. <laughs> As if. All your bitching is killing my appetite. What? Bitching? I'm just giving some friendly advice on proper dining etiquette. Uh, don't mind him, Minerva. Raz actually got food poisoning. His meds haven't kicked in, so he's all cattywampus. Food poisoning, hmm? That won't do. A soldier is only as good as their health. Eureka! I have just the recipe for that. The hell is that? Looks like swamp water. A cure-all concoction passed down through the Victor family. Guaranteed to restore one's vim and vigor. Go on. Drink up. Oh, uh, so like herbal tea? I uh, guess it can't hurt. Bottoms up! Whoa, Raz, what's wrong? Snap out of it! <sighs> hell... I saw a vision... of hell... Kicks in quick, doesn't it? I'll kick you in quick! That was the most nasty-ass outhouse slop I ever... Whoa, wait... What the hell? Where'd my stomachache go? <laughs> I told you so. That is 500 years of Victorian wisdom. Minerva, that's amazing. I bet we could use it on the field. Hmm. Perhaps it could cure other poisons, too. Very well. Let's add it to the old playbook. Seeing a Victor family tradition alive on the battlefield. Words cannot convey the pride I feel. Okay.
pick, really? Just projections. There, all set for the next battle. of exciting. You'd better keep up. Lock and load. Here I go. My turn. I've got this. Here we go! Eliminate the enemy! Squad E, move out! Advancing! Get behind me! Watch my back. I'll go with you. Enemy spotted! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on!
didn't take much. Good. That should make things a little easier. Understood! to go.
Okay, then. Don't let your guards down. Hang in there. Okay, then. Here I come! Still just a rookie. They might be soldiers after all! Don't let your guards down! Understood. Battlefield is where I belong. Taken the enemy base. Mission was a success.
all set for the next battle. The price of skill. Another mission? Why can't I do anything right? Great work out there, Leonhardt. You too, Aladdin. You really pulled through today. Just today? Try every day. Besides, seeing those imps shooting at women makes my blood boil. If you ask me, that mission was a real snorefest. They sent in a prince to do a pauper's work. Those guys are so skilled. They may be snipers like me. They're in a league of their own. Oh, how can I be cool like them? What's their secret? Hi, Aladdin! Uh, hi, Leonhardt! Um, are you doing target practice? Oh, Nage. <laughs> Guess my secret's out. Even I have to train sometimes. Well, I'm not practicing. I'm just hanging out. Not very convincing while you're still aiming, Leonhardt. They're both so talented. Maybe that's why there's such a big skill gap between us. So, did you need us for something? Well, yes. You see... You want to know how we keep cool under fire? <laughs> Don't you worry about that, my dear. A man's duty is to protect the women around him. Stick with me, and no harm shall befall you. Please. On the battlefield, there's no male or female. Only binary that matters is dead or alive. Besides, Nage, you're a better shot than you think. Back in training, you were one of the better snipers. Maybe even the best. What? No, no, no! That's... Oh, I'm not even close. Ah, you're pretty cute when you get all flustered. I guess, but... I... I can stay calm during training, but in real combat, I get nervous and start messing up. Th that's why I want to learn how to be cool, like you. If you're here to work on your confidence issues, then go home. The battlefield's no place for that. Oh. You could have seen a psychologist or joined a sports team. Instead, you went to war. Why is that? <sighs> if you can't answer that much, you'll never be cool. Don't take Prince Charming there personally, my dear. He hasn't a clue how to treat a lady. <sighs> Something wrong, Nage? You look a little down. I can't stop thinking about what Leonhardt said yesterday. Oh. You're still hung up on that? Yeah. It's hard to ignore a guy called Prince Charming. True, he did finish training at the top of his class. He can talk the talk and walk the walk. But as often as he brags about his natural talent, he had to train day in and day out to get there. Really? His parents were so obsessed with having a perfect son, he spent his childhood being worked to the bone. He dropped that tidbit on me while we were practicing, in the middle of his usual born-this-way boasting. I had no idea. But now I understand how he got so skilled. Hmm. Does that mean you have a secret to success, too? It's not like I'm hiding it. I've got a rival to beat. I was on track to becoming the Federation's best sniper. But someone blew my high score out of the water. Are you talking about... Deadeye Kai? Yes, not much of a story to it. Challenged her and lost. Her pride was shattered. Her reputation was ruined. Next time, however, I'll come out on top. Until that day, I'll be practicing around the clock. 
I even shaved my hair off, so I'll never forget why. So that's how you keep a cool head. Um, I mean... I always figured you and Leonhardt were just, you know, natural geniuses at anything you try. But now I see that every skill takes hard work to develop. Something like that? All I know is that I have to bust my hump just to keep from falling behind Deadeye Kai. And from what I heard, Prince Charming has his own reasons for working as hard as he does. You don't say. Oh, sorry, I got a little carried away there. Time flies when you're talking to a cute girl. If I say any more, I'll invoke the wrath of the prince. And if that happens, it's off with my head. Um, I see. I wonder... What motivates me? I wouldn't lose any sleep over it, my dear. The answer will come to you in due time. I sure hope so. Next mission. Deployment. I wish you the best of luck. Oh, I'm still so nervous going into battle. But I have to work my hardest. Wait, get back here, Leonhard! That's an order! Huh? What's going on, sir? We found Imperial civilians in the town ahead. The moment Leonhard heard that, he went AWOL. He crossed into enemy territory alone? It's too dangerous out there. Please, send me after him, sir. If she's going, so am I. We'll bring Prince Charming back. I appreciate it. You two have my leave. Got your back. Watch your back. Oh, 
all over it. Your hair is so shiny. Well, well. The terrain's bound to give us the advantage. Leave the driving to me. the shot. the red carpet. I never no, miss. Thank you. Know your place. Keep calm and carry on. shot. Oh, 
Off the red carpet. I never miss, you know. Be gone. Pull out the red carpet. knees know your place shot. Well, well. I can 
do this. the red carpet. You just... God, what the hell? Bitch slapping me like that? Do you even know who my dad is? I'll smack you till the blood runs down your legs! What were you thinking running off like that? Don't you ever do that again! Do I make myself clear? Uh-oh. I... Uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that was way out of line. Figure. I suppose you can be assertive when your friends are in danger. You should be proud for expressing yourself. <gasps> oh, right. We're not really at leisure to stay and chat. Let's finish up here and be on our merry way. Call the shot. Make 
make way! On your knees! Charmed. The Prince! Hail to the King, baby. Out of my sight! Know your place. Can I do this? For someone. I was raised by a nanny and her son. They're my family, at least more than Lord and Lady Strauk ever were. But they're Imperial immigrants, being spies. They fled before the military police could arrest them. I never found out where they went. So when I heard there were civilians here, I thought, just maybe. Looks like I was wrong again, though. That's fine. I'll find them. I'll find them if I have to fight through the entire Empire. I get it now. Your secret to being cool is fighting for the ones you love. That's why you practice so hard with Aladdin. I told you, I don't need practice. I was born this way. Oh, right, of course. Sorry, Your Highness. Headquarters has decorated you with this medal. Congratulations! I think I've learned something through all this. Aladdin and Leonhardt don't have a secret to success. They just make the most out of what they're given. If I have courage and work hard, then I can do the same. I will not tolerate you going AWOL again. Am I understood, Leonhardt? Dude, who are you to order me around? He's our commander, that's who. And that's sir, not dude. Any other officer would have thrown you in the brig by now. Do you want to get court-martialed? A prince? Kneels for no one. I'll look after him, sir. Sniper to sniper. Thanks, Aladdin. Keep an eye on him. Oh, hi there. Excuse me. You again. What is it now? Well, 
There's something I'd like to tell you. How could anyone say no when you look so serious? I'm all ears, my dear. See, I've been working on my confidence issues for a while. But it wasn't until I spent some time with you guys that I realized how much effort you put into things. That's how I finally found my own motivation. And that is? Protecting you two, along with the rest of our squad mates. Someone has to keep Lee and Hart from going AWOL again. So, I'm gonna work hard to improve my skills. <sighs> D sorry, I didn't mean to come off so high and mighty, but I... Um, well, I... I see it now. There, in your eyes. The spirit of royalty. These are your first steps on the road to rule. Huh? He just says his little one-liner, then waltzes off. Oh well, I suppose that's Prince Charming's way of rooting for you. You've earned his respect. Oh, I see. You know what, Neige? You're pretty cool yourself. Or maybe you've still got some work to do. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you. 
Good day, Captain Wallace. Training will of course follow Navy regs, but you shouldn't notice much difference. Now, show me what you've learned. Oh, and don't worry. There are plenty of locations on the ship suitable for training. Up on deck, in the corridors. Honing your soldiers' abilities will be the key to victory. I expect success from your squad, Captain. <laughs> so, who will it be today? Everyone, do your best! Nicely done! As of today, you are now authorized to use rifle grenades. Why don't you give them a try? Troopers have discovered new potential. Your shock troopers are now trooper elites. Well done. You are now authorized to use flamethrowers. Fire can be a powerful thing. Your lancers have been promoted to lancer elites. You are now authorized to use mortar lances. Put them to good use. As of today, your engineers are now engineer elites. Excellent work. Your snipers have been promoted to sniper elites. Congratulations. You are now authorized for interception fire. Put it to good use out there. Your squad members are getting even better. You've been cleared to learn a new order. Done for the day? Crush them all.
unfortunate. Aww. Time to if you want. I can write about... I'll do it just like Raz does. There. All set for the next battle. Pleasure to work with you, Captain Wallace. This is a mock battle between Army and Navy. of exciting. You better keep up. Here I go. Breeze.
fine placement. I'll try my hardest. That covers the briefing. Squad E, prepare to engage. We're going to practice cold weather warfare. Fight like it's the real thing. Squad E, move out! It's time for a joint training session between the Centurion's crew and the soldiers of the Guard Convoy. Practice or not, this will be your first deployment on the Crystal Sea. Treat it like real combat. We came all this way to do training? We wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for the Scrub Marines. What? You're the one who started it, you dumbass doughboy! Oh, okay, you want a round two, huh? Quit squabbling and get in position. Why are you ordering me around? You're the newbie around here. This is just to get us used to working with each other, right? Just play it cool like me and... How long are you going to keep running your mouth? Concentrate, you buffoons! <laughs> okay, let's get started. A blizzard's gonna roll in soon. Let's finish this up before the storm gets here. can offer in terms of combat support. Once you understand our capabilities, you can use them to turn the tides of battle. Moving out. Make sure your equipment can handle the cold. There they are. Moving out. Uh-oh! The enemy's firing back! Enemy sighted! Keep an eye on your body temperature. You're being targeted. Determine our chances. Leave this to me. Support it. Precisely. Perfectly calculated. Target eliminated. Keep up the good work.
Feel that breeze. Circle of life. Target destroyed. Good work. Naturally. Survival of the fittest. Good. That should make things a little easier. Okay, moving out. They're firing on us! I'm on it. If your senses are still functioning, you're gonna be all right. The enemy has begun their path. Come on! Target eliminated. Keep up the good work. Shall we begin? Incoming! Ah! 
Let's see, ballistic trajectory. Fire! Perfectly calculated. I should have expected as much from you. Stay alert. Officer, I will not fall here. Please confirm the enemy's position. There. For victory! We begin. Precisely. Great job! I knew you had it in you. Nice 
my shot. No point wearing ourselves out on a practice mission. Feel that breeze. Don't forget to call for support whenever you need it. Determine our chances.
Advancing! Target destroyed! Good work! Please make efficient use of the Grenadiers! Right there! Shall we begin? Precisely. That result checks out. Good. Moving out! Watch your body temperature. Looks like you've all worked up a good sweat. Hopefully you're getting along a little better. Is he serious? He tortures us and that's supposed to make us buddies? Get used to it. Somewhere along the line, this guy turned into a nightmare drill sergeant. All right. I hear the Ranger Corps training gets brutal. Don't even get me started. I get the shivers just thinking back on it. Trust me, it's gonna get rough. Yeah? It sounds like a story. What kind of crap did they put you guys through? Well, that's encouraging. Okay, that's enough training for now. That storm's not gonna wait on us. Let's start packing it in. Here comes the blizzard! Everyone hurry! Get back to the Centurion! Captain Wallace, come in! Everything's fine, Marie. We're coming back right now. No, this concerns another matter. Remain deployed for now. Huh? There's someone approaching us on the ice. Visibility is too poor to see if they're armed. Someone on foot? In this weather? There are lots of islands around here, mostly fishing villages, but there are some Imperial bases, too. You think it could be an Imperial scout? Guy must have pissed someone off to get stationed all the way out in this frozen hellhole. We should hide. If they're an enemy, we'll let him pass, sneak up from behind, and take him alive. Roger. Huh. Look at how they're walking. I don't think they're military. It's a civilian! Hey, you there! Stop! Don't worry. We're not going to hurt you. We're Federation soldiers. Are you from one of the nearby islands? Why are you out here all by yourself? Um, the, the Empire suddenly appeared in our village. They, they said they were making a requisition. There are 20 more coming. My friends and family. We abandoned our homes and ran for it. But we can't make it much farther. I, I saw the ships and came to ask for help. <laughs> Driving out civilians and taking everything they own. It's been working for them so far. Marie. I need you to check in with the captain immediately. 
Tell him I'd like permission to house about 20 civilians on board. One step ahead of you. He's already given the okay. If we're taking in refugees, though, we'll need to take out the Imperial forces pursuing them. Rescue the civilians and eliminate their pursuers. Time to see if your training's paid off. Good luck. All right. Let's intercept them at the village. <laughs> Guess I'm a well. Welcome, Captain Wallace. have realized new potential. Done for the day? Done already? 